Welcome back to Reese Destiny GC. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and guessing the earnings of different players based on nothing but the gameplay alone. We're going to be doing this based on how good their fighting is, how good the mechanics are, and of course, how good is their decision making endgame in these Solar Victory Cash Cups. I've gone ahead and blurred out all of the names and game tags for you guys so you can go ahead and play along at home. I'm going to be giving away a Solos Masterclass copy to anyone who gets the most accurate guesses down below in the comments. No cheating allowed, just pause the video when I go ahead and show before the final earnings and you guys have to go ahead and make your guess at that time. Someone in this video actually got earnings in the most recent Victory Cash Cup with the Solos Masterclass. I'm pretty happy to give a copy away in this video. Just make sure you guys comment down below and let's get straight into this mystery player number one. Okay, so the first the first major thing that I'm getting from this guy is he knows what he's doing. Like he know he knows the map quite he knows what to farm, he knows what loot paths he can do. Um and he also takes he's like fairly happy to start a few fights. But he's not dumb, he's not just starting fights for no reason, you know? Like he's farming all his metal here, he's clearly got like a good game plan. Um he's landed straight on a hammer. It just makes me think this is someone with Solo's Masterclass. Um, which is more so aimed at like lower level like semi pro type players you know let's let's take a look at how he fights and we'll figure it out from there okay off the back it's a 30 tag very good he approaches from the weak side of the box hopefully he gets this wall in here tried to get it okay nice um a little bit flashy i don't know now, that just seems unnecessary to me i feel like a pro wouldn't do that but maybe i'm wrong he's getting exit control this is nice Again, he's he's just very flashy. I don't know. I feel like a like a pro, even though if they're stacked, they wouldn't fight like this. They wouldn't, they wouldn't be doing all these double edits. They'd be thinking of just getting on the wall quickly and catching the guy off guard. This is nice, though. Bates pickaxe swing out right there. Hits the timing shot, cracks the guy. And he's confident. Just hops straight in. Nice. <sighs> that was risky. He did end the fight, though. He didn't let the fight get drawn out too long. Um... I don't know, based on that, that, that could be like a flashy pro. It could be like a confident zero earner. It could be like a average sort of semi-pro, like 10k. The, the vibes that I'm getting right now is like, um, like, especially on defense fan. The vibes I'm getting right now is like 5k earned sort of player. And he, he has to disengage. He doesn't know how to defensively box fight at all. He played that really bad. This is really bad as well. He's just hammering away in the open. What won't be? Okay. His mid game doesn't seem too bad. Like, he, he got his kill. He's now, like, fairly stacked. He knows where to get extra loot. Um, The one thing that he's doing, and this isn't really a tell, but he's always just chewing people for, like, no reason. He's, like, tagging people for, like, 10 of an SMG from miles away, which is a really bad habit to have. Um, okay, this is definitely, yeah, a lot of these, like, simple mistakes, like, farming um, in the open. You know, this is definitely not a tier one is not like a pro elite FNCS level player, I would say. But yeah, bad rotates as well. Not a fan of this. Look how many mats he's just used, Jesus Christ. Let's get a kill though. Oh, this is a nice play. That's a nice play. With the pre-edit there as well. Now he's just going to spam the guy through the pre-edit. Yeah. That was a good play. But I can't really determine anything based on my play. Max distance zone. He's not looking to early rotate here. He's still looking to like get more kills. This is pretty bad, I'd say. Um, yeah, okay. Everything that he's doing, even though I know like a really good play would potentially do this but just the fact that he's combining them um it's giving me like 4k earned sort of player let's see what he does end game he gets quite a few end kills end game okay one one thing he's doing a lot is like trying to refarm end game um which i think a good player does however he's not at that point where he knows when to do it properly like he's trying to box up and bricks and stuff which is good but he's not at the point where he knows when to do it. Like he should always prioritize healing and uh, zone safety over refarming, you know? This is decent. Mechs are very good. 
30 movement and he's hitting all, the, all these edits. Okay, now let's see if he does. Okay, sec halfway through second moving. He hammers from backside. Good play. Like that. Well, ap apart from apart from going for high, like, end of second moving in this solo matter, I don't think it's the best. Um, everything else is really good. He knows how to get refreshes. He knows where to look. He knows what edits to do. Like here, like doing that extra floor edit to give himself a bit more visibility, you know. Playing around on these walls here, he might be able to find something. And he's also not afraid to tarp a little bit when he has mats. Like he's tarped just to look for a refresh. And he's going to hammer in the end of zone. Get to a good spot as well. Again, 2 by one looking for a refresh. Really good stuff. That was nice. You have to, this would be, this would be a, literally a free win. If you just went front side instead of going up back. If you went front side ahead of this guy and then look for height, you're in a really good position. But instead he's like backside trying to go up for it. His fighting was good, a little bit too flashy. I feel like a pro wouldn't be that flashy apart from maybe like five pros. So he's definitely not a pro. He's doing a lot of things correct end game. However, he still makes like micro mistakes, like knowing when to refarm, um, like being aware of storm, things like that. Um, and he's also got very good mechs. That basically fully points him towards that like semi pro category. He could just be a really good like under 1k owner, I'd say. But I'm gonna just fully guess. I was getting like 4k vibes. I'm gonna guess like 6k earned. But he's a player that didn't play back during World Cup. KS Veno fanboy events. Am I just wildly off? 2k earned. Okay. In Challenger right now. Got $100 in the Victory Cup, so he knows how to win games. I mean, that game was like a perfect example. Yeah, fir first events played was the old duo FNCS. Yeah, so he never played World Cup. And then he was really, really bad at this point. And then now he's got to the point where he's got two count. Okay, again, um, we need to take a look at the fighting here. So he's third fighting this fight. I guess this guy really low and he's going to push over, I guess. For hammer. Nice. So that first guy, he was very like quick and flashy. It's a nice bit of piece from him. Um, raises the stair, tries to wall replace it instead of it. This could be someone really good. Like, uh, this could be someone very good. But it's very good at pressuring. You should get the cone in from below there. That's just a minor thing, but... Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely... This guy looks a lot better. Like, just the way he fights, he's not too flashy, but he's, like, effective, you know? Okay, there's 100 tag on this guy. 120, he's going to push straight over. Yeah, very confident player. I like to see how he approaches here again. Guy's boxed up in a 2 by one He goes from above. Now he swaps to the wall. Mate, yeah, this is a good player. Like, what is that? Almost got the shot there as well. Crane slide from a distance. Exit control. Jump down the wall, instantly ready of a shotgun. Execute, mate, like, what am I watching? This kid's a goat. If this is, like, random zero owner kid, I'm going to be so disappointed. Because it means I can't play a solar cash cup for the next year, probably. Good positioning, and he's got ADHD. He's doing these edits in a box. So whenever someone is doing these spam edits in a box, keeping warm, you just know they're a goat. Right? Like, it's just a fact. Mate, he's been doing this for, like, five minutes straight. What is he doing? Alright, if this is like a 1k urn who's just got caffeine chewing gum or something, or he's just had three copies before this tournament, I don't know. Gets the whole way to the edge of next zone. Gets towards dead side here. This is a very sort of advanced play, I would say. Mate, he's so good at just looking for those little, like, picks. He's also not greedy. He doesn't just run for that loot. Obviously, it's a shambles player. There's no point really going for it, is there? Really good rotate as well. Pauses, farms a tree. Perfect. Build forward with the extra wood. Perfect. Yeah, this could easily be like a 50k on player. Um, Easily. Maybe even more. I don't know. Scouts out height before leaving his high layer. Really well done. Make sure he's connected as well again. Every, literally everything this guy has done this game is perfect. I'm not joking when I say that. It's been 
extremely solid. Extremely, extremely solid. Oh, he takes out. He takes out. Wow. He takes out the, the first player right there. What are the odds of that? Um, good confidence in his aim as well. Really good. Make sure he's connected. Mate, this guy's a fucking goat. What's happening? Oh, yeah. Easy. Okay. Without even watching the rest of this game, this guy's easily got 50k innings. If he doesn't, like, he's not just like a crazy well-known pro. I don't even know, like, what is happening? He's just so good. Yeah, there's just no way it's... It's not just, like, how he's playing. It's just the fundamentals he has. Like, semi-pro players don't have this good fundamentals. Nice play here. Chops out high. Also, was scouting high earlier. He drops down by an awkward timing. Oh, he lost. There's no way he lost. I thought he won there. That was so weird looking. What? All right, let's take a look. It's Flodax. Okay. Yeah, I just know it had to be. Only 15k earned. What the fuck has he been doing this whole time? Yeah, no, no offense to Flodax. I thought that was someone like 50k earned easily. I mean, that's actually more of a compliment to him, isn't it? I was a little bit surprised. Only, only like 15, 16k earned. Okay, for our third play here, this is the first week, I'm pretty sure. They're doing the balloon strategy, um, which has been taken out. So, pretty low skill strategy, which sort of narrows it down. And then if you watch as well, I'm pretty sure this is a control player. Like, this is the most stiff mouse and keyboard player if it is a keyboard player. Okay, so pretty much all I've got to base this on is the fact that it's a nervous controller player. Right? And they're doing a cringe strategy. Which makes me inclined to believe they've got around, I don't know. So do the strategy like the first day of the tournament is pretty good. And they're playing, they're playing this properly, they're playing heat off. Um, so they fight the other person? There's no way. Yeah. Okay. 15k earned. Second player, first player, seven super. It's Nipsey. Of course it is. Yeah, what did I say? Nervous controller player. And they've got 8k earned. Okay, so we're on to player 4 here. This is going to be very, very hard. They've only got 2 kills the entire game, and one of them is during like early mid-game. We're about to see it now. So it's going to be very difficult to analyse. But, okay, that's nice. Nice bit of cone. Exit control, drop down. Nice bait out play. Um... Get up, splash, pressure, hopefully. Baits out which wall he's dropping on. Nice, okay. I mean, that that isn't a lot to go on. This is going to come down to what he does end game. But so far this game, they've landed directly on a hammer. They've got a good loop path. They've gone and got cat metal. Um, so they're basically stacks they can be to do well this end game. So let's just watch the end game and hope we can figure it out. They scout height, end of third moving, not too many maps on height. They connect, double connect. Um, I mean, the way they play this end game has been like decent, nothing like crazy, you know? Nothing really to tell off, to be honest. Decent aim, though. They're not bad. They're definitely not like a bad play, you know? There's just too many like. Small mistakes. I want to see how they play this like final situation here. 1v1. 1v1, 7 builds. They've already wasted too many builds starping, to be honest. Height. It's going to pressure them a lot. They get siphoned from the other player on low. That's a good play. Now they hammer up directly below height so height can pump them. Height doesn't pump them for some reason. Okay. Yeah, this isn't a year. I just know this isn't a year. Which make is is yeah hundred percent the way that this is being played, is giving me like zero earner on NA West sort of vibes. Very sorry if I'm not correct with that assumption. Yeah, like six flashes and not playing Storm here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, honestly, I have to, I have to go zero earner. 
Andy HX. Zero earnings, yeah. I mean, they're not a bad player by any stretch of the imagination. Like, um, almost calling out of challenger a few times. Um, I was just like a really low elo solo victory cash cup. Oh, so the, so the game they sent me was their last game from EU Opens. Um, obviously everyone's like just keying and stuff, you know, trying to get the placement to qual, and that qualified them for the finals, I guess. Where did they come in finals? 573rd? 22nd place, I guess. There's a lot of like small micro things they were doing wrong in those end games that are actually pretty easy to fix. Um, they just takes a bit of time of like volume and putting effort in um, and things like that. And they definitely could earn money in the sort of cash cuts funds. Very open. Like, oh, literally, they get 570th. They just need to improve that over the next six weeks and they could easily get one win, you know? All right, on to player five here. I feel like we've been pretty good about guesses, but now we've got player five who is they've got a win. Um, and it looks to be a pretty good player, I guess. They won they won this game here. And we're gonna watch these sort of mid-game fights and see what they do. Okay, first off, defensive fighting later in the game as well. Not really looking for cow damage though, they're just playing it a little bit slow. Oh nice shot, what nice. Takes out Kate. Okay, so this is this is like a high elo game. I can I can see who they kill. Um, I don't really have a way of locking that out. Wow, they're very confident in their aim. Okay, um, and their aim is very good as well. Okay, that that right there. I don't know. Like a pro would do that. However, that is like. A 5k earn play right there. Just like you have cat mats, you have the best salute, literally the best salute for solos, and you're trying to go for a refresh first moving on a high layer where someone can hammer on your back without protecting yourself, you know? Now that is actually just classic semi pro sort of behavior, you know? They're really aggro as well. Like always. It's whenever they box up, they're not just chilling in their box, you know? Super, super aggro. Do they capitalize on that? They should go for that. All right. This is a million dollar question. Do they build when they go for these mats? They do. All right. That has bumped it up from like 5k to like 8k range. 5k to like 7k range. Just just them building walls there. Well, that's just like... It doesn't matter in that situation. But that's just a habit that people should have from... Like elite cups, you know, like where you get punished for things like that. He's not too like over aggro on a single player. Like he's cracked that guy. He's not going to try committing for that kill. He's more focused on the front side threats of people hammering up, you know. It turns attention again. Yeah, he's playing this really well. Yeah, I'm thinking like up from 8k to like 10k, just by how well he's playing this. There's there's no chance this is someone below like 4k, in my opinion. It's another kill. 1v1 situation, he cracks the player, he's still got my advantage on height. Does he does he aggro now or do you play it passive with splashes? Let's see. Breaks a tree, yeah, nice. Keeps some pressure in the guy. He's still got a minute. A lot of people mess this up. There's still a minute before he heal off. Um I think a classic mistake someone like this, let's say this is someone getting a first earnings, right? They play way too passive. They're like, oh I win with six splashes, and then spend a minute trying to hold height. And then let the other guy heal. He's playing this correct. He's spraying him. He's pressuring him non-stop. Wasting the guy's mats. Forcing the guy into doing that hammer up play. Now the guy's... As soon as he hammers up, you know, he's got no mats, right? Which he does. Now he plays right and peak from above. Drops down layers. Just good zone wars fundamentals at this point. He's going to do a timing shot back in Storm. No, not yet. He's going to wait for the hill. It's well played. Yeah. All right. Let's guess. Let's try to do an exact guess. It's a good player. Not a pro. Not like a tier one established pro. Someone probably in elite, I would guess. So in that top 200 duo range, sort of a EU. I mean, they played that really well, right? Their fighting was really solid. They took out like good players like Cade. Um, they held hype really solidly. It's definitely going to be more than 8k, isn't it? 
I'll, I'll say 12k. I don't think this is someone that's done really well in FNTS. So they just seem a little bit too like unpolished, if you know what I mean. Events. Let's see. 25k earn. Oh wow. Okay. I mean, I wasn't far off. I said what? 12k maximum. 18k. Um. 25k earn. Yeah, someone from Elite. Like just that one thing with those walls. That was like, oh yeah, this guy plays in Elite. Um, he qualifies for these cups, you know. And he made he got two wins in this as well. Yeah, his solo his solo play style seemed really solid. 